All right, guys, we are in a Mark V GR Supra full aero suspension brakes. Basically, everything's been thrown at this car except for power mods, not even a tune. We've reviewed this car once in the canyons, but let's see how it does on track where it really belongs. We just got done driving Patrick's supercharged wide body Jay's Racing S2000. Did a very, very conservative lap time of 152.1 with the owner riding along. And that was with me making quite a few mistakes that lap. Let's see if we can beat that time here with the Supra. We're on Goodyear Supercar 3 tires, 275 all around.
dead silent during that entire session because I was just concentrating so hard. This thing is brutally fast. Just some bolt-ons probably add a little bit of power. But there's not even a tune on this engine. I don't think I've ever broken 150 in any car before. So that's a first. This thing is so impressive. The rear end definitely feels a little bit unsettled over some of those bumps, especially at high speed. But overall, the car is just planted. It's flat and it's so damn fast. It's interesting because it's both easy to drive in some respect. I just keep both hands on the steering wheel, no messing around with an H pattern shifter or clutch pedal. But at the limit in the corners, this car is not easy to drive. That's where the difficulty, where the challenge comes into play. Coming out of corners, this car is really tail happy, but it's tail happy in a very snappy way. It doesn't feel very progressive when the rear end breaks loose. And that's the main thing holding me back from being able to drive this car a little bit harder. I just don't fully trust that rear end. That's probably a Supra thing. I know quite a few other people who track their Mark V Supras have the same comment about the at the limit driving dynamics. But overall, wow, this thing is freaking fast. Shout out to Hal for letting me review it. Managed to pull off a reasonably good lap as well. These Goodyear Supercar 3s, they're pretty good. They're decent, but they definitely have a lot less grip than, say, an A052. Needless to say, this car is way faster than that supercharged S2000, even on a superior A052 tire. Although I don't have a passenger in this car, but overall, I do think this car feels about two to three seconds faster. This is how you build a car for the track. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.